Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 first things to do for the Samsung Galaxy A15. And the first thing I want to show you is how to make the phone a bit faster, because always if you open an app, you have a little animation, it zooms out and zooms in. Have you seen it? Zooms out and zooms in. You can make the phone a bit faster by removing it. Let me show you a bit more about, so just scroll down here, tap down here on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to go to the point accessibility, here it is. And now you will need the point vision enhancements. If you scroll down a bit, you will see now the point remove animations. Let's try it. So turn it on, it's uh, marked blue now. And whenever I open now an app, it's immediately there, immediately again. Né? Let me show you a bit again uh, by turn this off here. Now with the animation, you see that. The phone is much slower with these animations. So I really recommend to you to remove these animations. Uh, it will make your phone much faster and uh, gives you more power here for the phone. The next feature I want to show you is for our eyes because we are all looking too often on our smartphone screen and it is giving our eyes a lot of stress. But there's a way to reduce that stress for our eyes. Let me show you how. For that, just scroll down here. Scroll down a second time, then we have much more icons here. And we have this point here, Eye Comfort Shield. Just tap on it and you will see that this display has, has now um, a yeah, yellow touch. Um, this is nothing else than a blue light filter and it is protecting your eyes. I would recommend to you now to long press your eye comfort shield, like me. And now you have some more settings. No? Actually, it's unadaptive, no? it's automatically adjusted and so on. But I would recommend to you to squeeze at the maximum with custom. Because you can change the color temperature. And as more warm it is, as better it is for your eyes. Even if it's a bit unusual at the beginning, your eyes will say thank you for that. And um, yeah, it affects also the sleep in a positive way, uh, because if you're using our smartphone in the evening hours, it's not that good for the sleep. But uh, with that, it's okay again. Uh, so if you say, okay, I don't want to have it on a day and so on, uh, it disturbs me the yellow touch here, I recommend to you to set it as chat shield that it's automatically turned on and off. Um, just tap your set chat shield, go on sunset to sunrise, and yeah, you need to allow this first here. Yeah? So go on allow all time, go back with the arrow, and now it's set it up. Um, yeah, just for the evening and the night. So pretty, pretty nice. But as I have said, all over the day would be the best. And another feature supports your eyes. Um, especially in the evening hours and in the night, because if everything is dark around you and you have this white screen here, it's also not that comfortable for the eyes. I think you know, you know what I mean. But there's a way to enable a dark theme for that. Let me show you how. So just scroll in here, scroll in a second time. Now we have here the dark mode. Just tap on it. And now everything is dark and it's much more comfortable in the evening hours. But on the day, it's the opposite. No? Um, so I would recommend to you to schedule the dark mode here um, anyhow. And uh, let me show you how you can do that. So just scroll on here, scroll on a second time, long press the dark mode here. Now you have as well the settings here to turn. It is scheduled um, from sunset, no? so if the sun sets, the dark mode will turn on, and if the sun rises, the dark mode will turn off. So a very nice feature. Okay, I've turned it off the both features in case you don't like it. Uh, but I really recommend these both features to you. And uh, yeah, the next feature I want to show you is uh, also for the health, uh, more for the mental health, because uh, there are times you don't want to feel disturbed. Uh, if you're sleeping, maybe, huh? the best example. And uh, yeah, there's a way to put the phone just in silence, huh? but there's also a way to put the phone in silence, but give it exceptions. Maybe your parents or your children can still call you. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, scroll down a second time, and we will have here now this do not disturb mode. Now you can turn it easily on and off and so on, but I would recommend to you to set it up first. Just long press it and go on details, because now you can set up some times no? uh, that you don't have to turn it on and off by your own, uh, like the sleeping time. No? Pretty nice. You can chat you also more like working time and so on, but I will show you in the next step some more opportunities with that. And uh, yeah, you can give you exceptions, no? like uh, calls from your parents or from your ch children, no? as I've said, 
or as with messages as well, even no app notifications and so on. So you should really have a look here. This is a very nice mode to give you a bit more me time, uh, but with exceptions for your lovely ones. But as I've said, there's a way to give some more details to that feature. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll in here, scroll down a second time, go on the second page here. Yes, we are having a second page and here we we'll find the point modes. Just tap it on it and for the very first time you have the sleeping mode here, no? but you can add also other modes. No? Okay, for that just scroll on here, scroll on a second time, go on the second page and long press it now and you have now some more options. No? We had a sleep already with the do not disturb mode, but you can set up also something for your work time. No? Let's try it. Okay, go and start. Okay, now very nice. You can set up this feature that it goes on automatically by the time period or by a place. If you work always on the same place, I would recommend to you to enable this, the place if you work sometimes there and there, but always the same time, just choose the time period. Huh? Uh, pretty, pretty nice. Let's take the time period maybe for as just one example. Go next. And now you can combine it with the do not disturb mode. So that means the exceptions are here as well in it. And you can give some more exceptions. No? Maybe not for our example, not only your parents are allowed to call you or your children, also your chef. No? Be good at work. Uh, depends. <laughs> okay, uh, just go on done after, after you have uh, give some exceptions here. And uh, then you can go on next and you can set up some more stuff. No? You can um, yeah, increase the volume of the phone or uh, make it a bit more low. Uh, you can enable the power saving mode and so on. So, but, but the sound is pretty nice because if you're working in a very loud area, it's good that the phone increases automatically the sound um, uh, if you are at your working place. Well, otherwise, you can also put it on silence if the phone is also if it's detecting on your working place and so on. No? Um, you know what I mean. Sorry for my English. <laughs> And uh, yeah, you can enable also power saving mode. This is also pretty nice because you save energy then because you don't need your phone so often at work most of the time. And you can also set it up that it's open an app automatically if you're at work and then you can immediately start. So a pretty nice feature is just tap on done to confirm it. And now you have this working mode. Oh, can you turn it on and turn it off? Let me show you how you can set it up always, uh, or turn it on and turn it off. Just scroll on here, scroll on the second time, go on the second page, and you're on modes, you can always choose one of your selected modes. You can make it also for the gym, for the for the white, and so on with the car. Um, so many opportunities. And with these routines, um, your daily use will be much more easier. Give it a try. The next feature I want to show you is uh, to use the phone with one hand because the screen is pretty large and so on. You cannot reach everything and if it's, ah, ah, you know what I mean. But there's a way to make the screen a bit smaller, a bit more comfortable for you. So just scroll down here the home button and you have a mini screen now. Huh? You can do all the stuff you wanted to do. You can even play games with it and so on. No? Just tap here on the outside to be back in a regular mode. But don't wonder if this feature doesn't work at you because you have to enable this feature first. So just scroll down here, tap on the symbol for the settings, then scroll down to the point advanced features. Here it is. And now enable this point here, one-handed mode, like in my case, so that it's marked blue. Yeah? That means whenever you scroll down here, the home button, you no? then you will have here this mini screen. You can put it even on the other side here with the arrow if you are maybe left-handed. No? So pretty nice. And here with a bar on top, you can put it to another position so that it has the perfect position here for your thumb that you can easily um, yeah, work on it and so on. So pretty, pretty nice. And uh, as I've said, whenever you finish, just step on your outside here and you're back in the regular mode. And the next feature I want to show you is something for our eyes again and something pretty simple because the screen is large enough to just increase the text size. Huh? Let me show you how you can do that. Just scroll in here, tap you on the symbol for the settings, then just go down to the point display and look for the point font size and style. You can change below the font size or the text size. Uh, I've done it already here that you can follow the video better. So I would recommend to you to put it also at maximum here in the middle, like in my case, no? uh, because if you increase it too much, 
it will affect also the notification in a neg negative way because you can't read the previews anymore. So I would recommend to you um, yeah, to put it at maximum here in the middle. And this is as well much more comfort for your eyes. You can do also something more now but just tapping you on the arrow to go back one step so that we are back in the display settings because below font size and style you fi will find the point screen zoom um, and this is not only the text you can increase also the icons with that can you see that so choose your favorite option i'm more the fan of the text size and yeah your eyes will say thank you again yeah, the next uh, feature I want to show you is uh, to save a lot of energy because most of the time we don't need the full power of the phone. So and for that we have a battery power saving mode. Let me show you a bit more about. Just scroll in here, scroll in a second time, then we have much more icons as we have learned. And here is the power saving mode. Just tap on the battery and we save some energy. So this is pretty, pretty nice now. Nah? So the CPU speed is limit. Nah? We don't need always the full power as I have said. Uh, the brightness of the screen is a bit limited and um, yeah, some background activities and so on. Let me show you a bit more about how you can squeeze out the maximum of this power saving mode. Let me show you how. Just long press here the power saving mode. Then we are on the options here of the power saving mode. Nah? By the way, you, you will see what happened also in the background and so on and the limit uh, CPU speed. Nah? The squeeze of the brightness uh, by 10% and so on. But the last point is the most important one. Let me turn off at first here the power safe mode actually. And um, the last point here, limit apps and home screen. It sounds so innocent, but it's very powerful, this feature. Uh, enable this one. And let's turn on now the power safe mode and see what happens. Because this one is a special power saving mode. And with this power saving mode, you can squeeze, uh, squeeze out three times more energy from your battery you can uh, use your phone three times longer no joke so um, what do you have here so we have a limit app screen as uh, the name says already no? so we have some basic apps here and we can add also here with the plus symbol some other ones uh, like youtube and so on whatsapp and so on and um, yeah we have uh, uh, just 15 uh, um, seconds of uh, screen timeout and we have we have a dark mode here in the back now dark mode is saving energy by the way because we have an AMOLED screen here and uh, if there's a black background the pixels are turned off well, that saves a lot of energy so you should really try this feature out and hey maybe this saves your life one day because you have three times uh, more um, battery here with the phone. Okay, if you're ready uh, to charge your phone, if you have the chance again, just tap on three points, go and turn off power saving, and you're back in regular mode. By the way, nothing will be deleted or something like this. Now you can even play games in this power saving mode, um, but not racing games or something like this. So you know what I mean. Uh, so a pretty, pretty nice mode to save energy. And hey, as I've said, may it saves your life one day. And the last mode I want to show you are routines. Uh, um, what is a routine? Uh, maybe if you're watching Netflix, uh, you turn your phone to landscape mode usually while watching uh, Netflix and so on. Same also with YouTube. Um, or another example, um, at night, no? if you have turned on your phone for the night uh, for your parents or children, if they call, if there's something, uh, then uh, yeah, why not? enabling for the night the power saving mode as we have learned we can squeeze out the maximum from the battery then uh, and let me show you a bit more about these routines so just scroll down here tap on the symbol for the settings then you need to go on modes and routines so here we have the modes already yeah? so work what we have set up before is something like a routine a pretty nice one and here below we have also the chance to add some routines no? so okay let's create a routine here with the plus symbol Let's keep going on with our example with YouTube uh, to put the phone then in landscape mode. So first of all, we need to add here something at what will trigger this routine. If let's open then and or oh, if the app is opened of YouTube. Sorry for my English again. Uh, yeah, let's open also other apps or let's do it for other apps. So. 
done okay so when we open youtube or netflix what should happen then at what routine will do and we want to have the screen orientation in landscape mode okay go on done okay go on save you can give it a name as well here go on done again and now we will have our routine here okay let's check it out with youtube just let us go here in youtube and now youtube is automatically opened in landscape mode and if we go out now we are back in the portrait mode pretty nice huh by the way if we enter these um, uh, routines then uh, we have also some other options here uh, if you have no idea what you can do as with you know, here are some ideas next to the plus tab there and you will see some prepared ones what you can do and so on pretty pretty nice you should really check this feature out out and it will make your day your daily routine much easier i hope i could show you a nice setup here for your phone and uh, yeah with that we are at the end Thank you so, so much for all your support here to watch this video. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me something up. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, and yeah, I've created also some other videos if you're interested in it, some more tips and tricks and so on. Or you can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for your support. And yeah, maybe until next time. <laughs> Ciao.